More now on our top story uh, that magnitude 7.8 earthquake which struck the Iranian Pakistani border. Early reports say there have been fatalities. Iranian officials say they expect deaths to be in the hundreds. The U.S. Geological Survey says a quake was 15 kilometers underground. Now, a meteorologist says uh, that that has been revised to 82 kilometers underground. Now, the quake was felt as far away as New Delhi in India and the Gulf cities of Dubai and Manama. Imtiaz Taib is live for us uh, from Islamabad in Pakistan. For us, Imtiaz, what is the latest on the casualty toll that you're hearing? Yeah, hi there. Well, we're hearing that about 40 people have lost their lives. Now, that is uh, from an Iranian news service and other news sources as well. But uh, again, we still haven't heard an awful lot about uh, the number of casualties. We are, however, hearing that most of it has been centralized in Iran. We haven't heard of any casualties yet here in Pakistan. Uh, but this earthquake, this very powerful earthquake, was certainly felt here on this side of the border. In fact, it was felt as far north as Gilgit, Baltistan, uh, and indeed to the south in Karachi, Pakistan's largest city, a city of 20 million people. Now, immediately after the earthquake, the earthquake which lasted about 13 seconds, hundreds uh, of people, thousands of people really left their high-rise apartments or the very tall buildings that they were in uh, and flooded the streets uh, of Karachi, uh, bringing it to a virtual standstill. Many scenes of people offering prayers in the streets out of fear uh, over what just happened so indeed some some very dramatic scenes here in Pakistan but uh, again as we've been saying some casualties just across the border in Iran and uh, the earthquake felt all across Pakistan as you said as well as Iran India across the Gulf and the Middle East the region certainly no stranger to earthquakes is it Certainly not. Uh, in fact, if you just consider a Iran, for example, there is a relatively powerful earthquake not a year ago. Here in Pakistan, in 2005, more than 70,000 people lost their lives in the Kashmir earthquake, uh, which was a really devastating earthquake. Uh, and even in neighboring Afghanistan as well, we've uh, uh, has experienced earthquakes in the past as well. This area really is prone to seismic activity. And although this earthquake, uh, which occurred at around 3.30 local time, uh, was indeed very powerful, we're still again getting reports as to just what exactly happened. We are hearing that here in Pakistan, in the western province of Balochistan, which borders uh, Iran and Afghanistan in a village known as Mashkel, uh, that hundreds, uh, if not thousands of homes uh, have been almost completely destroyed because of this quake, uh, but again, because it's such a remote area it's quite difficult to get information from their information about casualties uh, or any uh, sort of injuries uh, so again an awful lot we still don't know about this quake but what we do know for certain is that it was extremely powerful have the authorities uh, launched a rescue efforts in the meantime well, what we understand is that uh, locals, at least here in Pakistan, have really been uh, helping those who have been affected by this quake, particularly in Balochistan province. We haven't heard a lot officially from the Pakistani government, haven't heard any formal announcements of just what they're going to do. I think a part of that is because there's still so much unknown about what sort of damage has been caused. But uh, certainly over the border in Iran, as we've been saying, the Iranian authorities uh, predicting that the number of people who may have died in this quake going up into the hundreds are certainly uh, ramping up uh, some sort of uh, drive to help those in this area of the country. We understand around 400,000 people live in this part of Iran, so uh, what we can expect certainly is uh, an awful lot of help coming from the Iranian government to those people. But again, it's only been a few hours since this earthquake, so uh, it's it's a bit too early to say just what sort of help has reached those who've been affected. MTS, thank you for that update. MTS tab with the latest. Uh